This is part four on how to solve the fused cube. As you learned in the first three parts, you learned how to do the half cross, first three corners, F2L, and now, recently, OLL, which is the complete orientation of the last layer, where you first got the top cross and then oriented all the corners. So, PLL is now moving the pieces around so they are in their correct spot. You will be using two-look PLL on this, so if you know how to do two-look PLL on the normal 3x3 cube, you can easily solve it from here. You just need to know four different algorithms. First, what you want to do is the corner. You want to put all the corners in their correct spot. Now, you can look around, and you want to find out if you have two adjacent next to each other, or two opposite next to each other. In this case, this one is correct, and this one is correct, which means I need to switch these two, which means I have an opposite case. And in this case, you want to do the Y permutation, which will switch these two corners and these two edges. But since you're only worrying about corners right now, moving these two edges does not matter at all. So the Y permutation, which is F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. That will switch these two corners and these two edges. Now, as you can see, all of your corners are in their correct spot. But what if you have the case where only adjacent corners need to be switched? Here, two of them match up on the left, and the two don't match up on the right. Even if the two match up on the front, you want to do any number of U moves to get the two that match up on the left side. And then you want to do the T permutation. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F. R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. Now we'll switch these two corners and these two edges, which is why it's called the T permutation. And now you will find one of four different edge uh, positions. You can either have the two easier ones, where only three are switched, as you can see on this cube, these three need to be switched. And you can have a harder one, which I will try to quickly get to here, which is where these two need to be switched and these two need to be switched, or the one where two opposite needs to be, two opposite ones need to be switched on both sides. Like this. So first I will show you the easier, the two easier algorithms that you need to know. And the only two algorithms you need for edge permutation. What you want to do is position the three edges that need to be switched on the front. So you have the three edges that need to be switched are on the left, front, and right of the cube. Don't worry about the edges, you will always just turn it back when you're done with this step. Then you want to identify if the pieces need to go clockwise or counterclockwise. I normally look for this piece and if it goes here or not. The blue goes over here, which means I have to go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. And, if it goes clockwise, like this, you want to perform this algorithm. R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime. And that will pos position them all together, and you can just move them back. But what do you do if they need to go like this, where this piece on the left side goes to the front, so they go counterclockwise. Now you want to do this algorithm. R prime, R U prime, R U, R U, R U prime, R prime, U prime, R2. Now just reorient your top layer, and you have solved the fused cube. But, what if you have one of these two cases, where all four edges are out of place? All you need to do is just do whichever of those two algorithms I just showed, either of them, from any position. So I'll just leave it like this, and I'll do the one that makes them go counterclockwise. What that did is it will always put one edge in the correct spot. Now you only need to switch these three, 
bring them to the front, so they're in the left, front, and right, and figure out which case you have. Green goes all the way over here, so I have to do the clockwise. R two U, R U R prime U prime, R prime U prime, R prime U R prime. Now just reorient the last layer, and there you have solved your f solved your fused cube. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to rewatch the videos which you are having a problem with. And if you still can't figure it out, feel free to send me a message or a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something from it.